an I-Team investigation. Identity thieves stealing your hard-earned tax refunds. The I-Team first exposed this problem several years ago. Now the IRS is announcing changes to protect your money. The I-Team's Ryan Kath takes a closer look at whether this will be enough. The I-Team introduced you to Kevin Johns in 2013 after identity thieves stole his tax refund not once, but twice. I needed that money. I had to actually take a loan from a family member. The IRS lost an estimated $5.8 billion in identity theft cases in 2013. Here's what happens. A crook steals the personal identity of an honest taxpayer and files the return first. Then the IRS unknowingly sends the refund to the wrong person. I'm thinking, what's going on here? It happened to Chris Howard, too. And the response from the IRS? They said it's already been filed and that the check was already been received. The IRS has now released a plan to try to get a step ahead of cyber criminals. It's a huge problem. Bentley University professor Stephen Wiseman has written a number of books on identity theft. One of the things that the IRS said they're going to do is they're going to finally start looking at the internet addresses from which uh, the income tax returns are sent because before they would come from the same address multiple times. Likewise, the feds will take a look at where they're sending the checks to make sure one address isn't receiving a large number of refunds. Wiseman is happy the IRS admits it can't fight this alone. One of the big ones is cooperating with individual tax preparers, tax preparing companies and Corporate America. This is very significant because one of the things we have not had, and with all of the issues of data breaches and identity theft, is cooperation. Where do you still see holes? The biggest problem is in the filing of W-2s. Employers send their W-2s to the Social Security Administration, not to the IRS. So by the time the IRS gets around to cross-referencing that info, it could already be too late. And one of those bogus checks has already been cashed. They're not protecting taxpayers properly. The IRS expects to have these safety measures in place by early next year, well before April 15th. If all goes well, honest taxpayers shouldn't notice a difference. For the I-Team, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.